Well, a number of you, including Quentin North and Ian Beebe, have written asking us to show machines other than the BBC Micro. Well, of course, we are going to do that starting now. And with good reason, because this month has seen a number of new products from Sinclair. There's, first of all, a new version of the Spectrum. Here it is. It's the Spectrum Plus. The pluses are a new keyboard and a £50 rise in price. Nevertheless, to be honest, this is an improvement on the old rubber keys. And Sinclair's pocket-sized flat-screen TV has just appeared. Uh, I'll switch it on. It really does have a picture. It's just a pity that it hasn't got an input suitable for a computer. So, although it's fine for match of the day, it's no good for programming under the bedclothes. Which is rather a pity. You nice, have a though. very good eyesight to see that if you're using it for a computer. You do. I wonder if they supply the very good eyesight along with the telemap. <laughs> well, until now, the only micro that's had a teletext decoder has been the BBC micro. But there's a new add-on, here it is, which enables Spectrum users to get CFAX or Oracle on their ordinary television sets or even on their monitors. For instance, here we are. That should be the news coming up in a minute. The extra that you gain over a normal teletext set is the ability to save the pages into your computer's memory and then print them out. At present, there are no programs that you can download and run automatically on your Spectrum in the way that you could do with a BBC machine. But if there is enough demand, the editor of CFAX tells us that they will certainly look into broadcasting free tele software for the Spectrum. So, make a lot of noise if you want this to happen.